everyone and welcome to Cricut Time. Subscribe to see new videos each week with project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. For today's tutorial, I will show you how to use your Cricut to personalize ornaments just in time for Christmas. For this project, I'll be using this beautiful ornament with a whole scene inside. I like this one because it has a light to turn on. I'll also be using some gold vinyl and some white vinyl. Let's get started in Design Space. I'll start out by bringing in a square. I'll just make it a different color so it's easier to see. The ornament that I have is three and a half inches wide and four and a half inches high. So I'll adjust the sizing to match. For today's design, I want to personalize it by adding on a name with a letter behind it. I'll start out by bringing in a text box and adding in the name. I'll just change the font. I want to keep it simple today, so I'll go with BFC Baking Soda, which is right in Design Space. I want to be able to see the difference between the two layers, so I'll just change this color to white. Now I'll bring in another text box and make this one the letter L. I'll just change the font. I want a font that is a bit boxy, so I'll go with Georgia. I can just resize this so they look good together. I'll just move this L layer so it's under the name layer. I don't actually need my machine to cut out the rectangle. I just wanted it for the designing stage, so now I can delete it. I'll use the grid lines here to center both of the layers. Perfect. I don't want to put one layer of vinyl right on top of the other layer of vinyl because there will be a bump there, so I'll actually cut the name out of the letter. This is easy to do. Just click on the name. Then click on Offset. I'll adjust the slider to make it a thin outline and apply. I'll just move this name out of the way for a minute. Now I will select the offset layer and the L layer and down at the bottom, click on Slice. Now I'll move the L over and then I can delete the rest of these slice layers. I can put these back and they fit perfectly. This is ready to go, so I can click on Make It. I'll be cutting on a mat, and when I get to this screen, I will make one change. Instead of using two mats, I'll just put both of these on the same one. I'm going to take this one and move it to the other mat. So I'll click on these three little dots, Move Object, I'll pick the mat I want to move it to. And now I don't want these cutting in the same spot, so I'll just move this one over to the other corner. Now it's ready. And I'll be cutting out on permanent vinyl. Let's get started on the ornament. I'll start out by cutting the vinyl to size. I'll stick these down on a green mat, matching the right piece to the right corner. I'll use a brayer to make sure they're both stuck down smoothly. I'll pop it into my Maker 3. You can use a Cricut or a Silhouette for this step. Now I'll use my weeder tool to pull off the background. I'll flip the mat over and peel the mat away from the vinyl to get it off. I have a piece of transfer tape, a little bit larger than the design, and I'll stick it on. I'll use my scraper tool to stick it down to the vinyl really well. Now I can flip it over and pull off the backing paper. To 
This design is ready to stick on. So I'll line the vinyl up into position and stick it down. I'll use my scraper tool again to stick the vinyl down and then I can carefully pull off the transfer tape. Now I'll repeat that process with a second color and transfer it to the transfer tape. When I'm using two colors of vinyl, it's best if I use a piece of parchment paper to help me line it up just right. I'll stick this layer on the parchment paper, leaving a little bit of the vinyl sticking out of the top. Now I can line this up and move it around until it's just right. That looks good, so I'll stick the top down. Then I can carefully pull out the parchment paper and smooth this back down. I'll use my scraper tool again to stick the vinyl down. And then I can carefully pull off the transfer tape. This project is done and ready for Christmas. Well, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut.